Hi everyone, welcome to TechKado. Today, in this video, I'm gonna show you a new feature that can help to secure your admin account with the help of the Workfence two-factor authentication. I'm gonna show you a demo first and then I'm gonna talk about it later. So for example, you have a WordPress website with the authentication from the Integrate Firebase Pro. And this feature only applies to the email and password authentication. It doesn't work with the social media authentication. Just to let you know, this only applies to the email and password. Okay. So this only applies for the user who is admin. And for normal users, I can try to log in as a normal user. This is how it works. Okay, so this is a normal email user. I'm gonna log in. And after user login, you see that username and then the display name. And it's not able to go to the uh, WordPress admin dashboard, would belong to the admin permission. And I'm able to log in without any two factor authentication. I'm gonna log out and then I'm gonna try again with the admin users. Okay, let's do it with the admin user. Okay, so this is an admin account. Okay, let's sign in. Okay, so after I log in, you will see that it will show me the two factor authentication uh, window. And if I use the authenticator on my phone to retrieve the code, then I will be able to enter the code for login. Okay, let's log in. Yep, so this is the process of the authentication with the support of uh, WorkFence authentication. So your admin account will be secure. So if you have to protect your site, in case you want to configure the uh, two-factor authentication, you can either go to WorkFence and then you can go to Login Security. And you have the two-factor authentication tab here and in the settings, you can have the option to add um, required to your admin account. Um, I don't think that it's necessary to have like subscribe or customer um, with this feature enabled. So because I already configured the two-factor authentication, uh, but if it's the first time that you configure, you will see the barcode here, and then you can download the app Authenticator, and then you can just start with the authentication process. That's it. So this feature comes in the version of 3.11.0. So make sure that you have the plugin updated to the latest version for this feature to work. So that's everything. Let me know if you have any requests or questions. I'm happy to make a video. So see you in the next video. Bye.